All right, we haven't even started. Guys, what do you mean no sound if I haven't clicked play yet? How would you, chat, how would you know that it's muted if I haven't clicked play yet? You do realize this is not currently moving. It's currently frozen, right? Oh my God, you guys, you guys are more papaya than I am. What, okay, you wanna bet it's gonna work? I'm gonna click and it's gonna have sound. Papaya LR. How do we papaya this early? I don't get it, chat. I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't get it. It's too early for this, guys. Okay, okay, okay. So this is muted, you're saying. Why, why would Riot put out a muted video? Explain it to me. I don't understand. At least now you guys know I'm not, okay, chat. Imagine if I was this good of an actor, I had already watched this video beforehand, and it's not a real first impression, and this was a, it's, oh, this is a nice moment. And I faked all of this to convince you guys I held off to the end. Imagine that level of Hollywood. All right, let's see. Let's see what we have here. All right, I'm gonna, guys, guys, okay, time, time. I'm gonna make the sound effects for you guys. Dun dun. In a time before legend, the slaughter docks. All right, first card first, chat. First count first, first card first. We have the slaughter docks. Landmark, three mana. Round start, toss one. If you're deep, destroy me to summon a random sea monster. Not a fan. Not a huge fan, but then again, I'm not a deep player. I'm not a deep player, but it's a three mana do nothing. Imagine. I love it. I love it. I'ma play deep again. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, chat. Imagine, imagine. One mana toss four or three mana do nothing. I don't know, man. I mean, I guess it turns into a creature down the line. I don't know. It's really, really, really slow. Like, it's good if the entire meta is all control cards. <clears throat> if you're deep, it's a three mana. Yeah, but if you're deep, do you really... I mean, all of your sea monsters cost like one anyway if you're deep. Don't you prefer to have a really good sea monster in your hand than a random one? Like, most sea monsters have a really good effect like um, uh, Obliterator and whatnot. I mean, it's, it's, it's basically... I love this card if I have no turn three play, but I'd rather have a different... I don't know. Not a huge fan. Not a huge fan, but it's okay. It's okay. Use it as bait to summon the beast below. Dun 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 dun. Brrr, sunk cost. Shuffle a unit or landmark into its deck. Oh my god, it's so bad, dude. It's so bad. Guys, for one second, imagine playing this over, over Vengeance. Imagine playing this over Vengeance. Literally a slow card. Slow card. Literally a slow card. Imagine playing this instead of like a Ruination or I don't know. It's 8 mana and it's slow. You could have made this 8 mana fast. You could have. It counters Lee Sin. So does Vengeance. <laughs> oh boy. Lives up to the name, yep. You just sunk eight mana. Imagine playing this versus aggro. Literally just way better in every way. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty, it's, yeah. Th you know what? I'm so excited right now. I don't know if you guys can notice me smiling ear to ear, but all of the deep cards they've put out so far suck. And I hate deep. I don't like playing it. I don't like playing against it. So if all of the bad cards they make go to deep right now, I'm super happy. I am uh, ecstatic. If so, hopefully all the good cards go to everything else, and deep gets shafted by mediocre cards. I'm actually happy with this. This is good for me. Lounging lizard, elusive. Oh, this is a swim card. Is that a, is that a swim card, chat? How, how many how many grabs do you want to bet that swim's gonna make a deck with this card somewhere down the line? I, I got I got money on it. I got money on this. Let me let me take off my webcam really quick. It's a three five by the way. Deal two damage to to itself at the round start, dude. It's a three five into 3-3, three, three, into 3-1. It's really good tempo for, for 3 damage on Elusive. It's really decent. I like it. Chain Vest, let's go. Yeah, but you don't play Elusive Demacia. You play like Elusive Ionia, right? I don't know. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is going to be an aggro card, quite possibly. I mean, 3 damage on Elusive is no joke. For 3 mana, that's, that's insane. It's better than Narwhal. Yeah, this is basically a better Narwhal. That's what this is. Pretty solid card. Pretty solid. Really hard to remove as well. 5 HP on the turn it attacks is almost impossible to remove. So this is getting like one swing into face almost always. 3 mana do 3 to face with a body. It's like a way better get excited for aggro. That's very strong. Oh no, dude. Help me! Help me! Wait, is this Tom Kench? Guys, is this Tom Kench? I, I need to know, chat. <laughs> Is that Tom? It's not Tom Kench. <laughs> okay. All right. I was going to be disappointed if that was Tom Kench, chat. 
I was gonna be disappointed that was Tom Ken. She's a, I, I figured he was a dude, but it's 2020 chat. People can dress up like they want. Fortune Croaker, <laughs> what a name. Deal one to me and an ally to draw one. It's a 2-1 draw card. And it has some synergies with decks that you want to self-damage. That's a really good card. That is a really, really good card. This is super good with Vlad. This is super good with Swain. That's a, that's a seriously decent card. It's a 2-1, not a 2-2, because it's dealing one damage to another unit as well. So you're losing 2 HP on the play effect. But even a 2-1 draw card is very strong. Plus, you can make all of those negatives a positive. This is really, really good. Yeah, it's better than Averse and Sentry, I would say. If it's her only unit, it will be 2-2. Two, two. I don't know if you can play it. Um, I don't think you get to draw if you don't have a second unit. Because it says deal one to me and an ally to draw one. Two draw one. That means that's a requirement and an ally. I don't think it will draw if you don't have a second ally to use it with. That's like saying I'm going to play Butcher on board for free. No. It has a requirement to be played. You can't play Butcher if there's no units on board. Same with this. This is a requirement for the draw. So I think you can play it, but it's not going to draw unless you fulfill the requirement. Fortune Croaker is the new... This is a really, really strong card. All right. I like this card already. I can tell... What is this card going to be? First of all, that's a Bilgewater card. I'm going to name this card. It's going to be a, it's going to be a play on words with Octopus. I don't know. Something, something with Octopus. Octopussy? Overreaching Octopus? I have no idea. Octo something. All right. It's an Octo something. And this is going to be a 5-3... Strike effect um, that generates a boxing glove for every time it strikes. And the boxing glove gives grants plus one plus zero to any unit you have. Okay, I was way off. <laughs> I was way off. I was way off, chat. I was way off, chat. Oh, it was Boctopus. Boctopus. Okay. I was pretty close with the name, though. I got to say I gotta say, I was really close with the name. Oh no, wait, 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 wait! Chat, I meant to take off my webcam, not- Oh my god, I'm papaying all day. I meant to- I- I-, I Guys, guys, I- I- I meant to- <sighs> I meant to- I, I- I meant- I meant to take off the- The webcam screen, guys. Oh my god. Grab is gone, yeah. Um, so this is a 3-4, deal 3 damage to me when he plays. It's a 3-1, um, challenger. Interesting. I wonder if this is going to see play with Targon, like, heal mechanics, like with Soraka. This might actually fit with Soraka's. Like, this is, again, really, really decent um, for for Swain. Like, this is a Swain card, through and through. This actually gets Swain so close to leveling. Like, three, two drop that already gives him three points of level up guaranteed, and a challenger 3-1 stats. It's amazing with Swain. Um, it's pretty good for Vlad as well, but I think Vlad really wants to play with um, Furliard occasionally. I don't know. I really like Vlad with Floriard. If you got summon instead of play, it would be broken. It would be really strong. Actually, well, not really, because like if you summon if you summon this, it's a 3-4. It doesn't even take three damage. Like a 3-4 summon, that's a really strong effect. Cheating this out with retreat, return. Yeah, dude. You can, oh my god. Retreat into this is really strong as well. One mana 3-4. It's nothing to joke about. Huh. Interesting. I like it. Alright, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Oh no, I wanted to stop. I wanted to guess, chat. Krusty. Why, why is everything... Okay, Riot, please stop putting all the cards under my webcam. I'm serious, Riot. That's that's the one request I have of you guys. Please, don't don't put everything on the right side. Like, 95% of all streamers have their face here. You could have put it on the left. You could have mirrored it. All right, Krusty Codger. Krusty Codger. I'll never have a card reveal. Probably have to never. <laughs> I agree. Play deal two to me. Wow. Oh my god, that's a, this is a really, really strong card. It's a 2-2, two, two, guaranteed. Something from Petty Officer is OP. Dude, this is a Petty Officer buff for sure. 1 mana 2-4, gems OP. This goes really well with gems. I think there might be a new archetype coming up, guys. I think the archetype might be actually having damaged units with Targon, with the heal package, right? Because there's a lot of cards that benefit from healing. If Soraka benefits from healing... You might actually just want to start dropping pre-damaged units and start healing them, depending on what um, Soraka does. And that could be a, that could be an archetype for sure. Interesting. This is this is solid. Oh my god. Right, make up your minds, chat. Guy. Oh, I, okay, back. Crumble. Five mana slow. I think it sucks already because it's slow. 
kill an ally to kill a unit or destroy a landmark. All right, so this kills champions, right? This does kill champions. Okay, at least it kills champions. Dude, imagine Bastion against this. Holy crap, that's um, the saddest day of our lives. This getting Bastion is um, absolutely horrible. What happens if you... Um, does this fizzle if the other if the opponent kills the ally you're killing? Like, let's say I use this on a Spiderling and um, he Vile Feasts my Spiderling. It fizzles? Okay, it sucks. It actually sucks. <laughs> oh no, dude! It actually sucks, chat! Oh no. Oh no, it sucks so much. Actually trash. It's a five mana do nothing, literally. Wow. And the worst thing is it's in it's in Shadow Isles. And Shadow Isles has so much premium removal, you're never gonna run this. I mean, this can I can the only time I can ever see this working is in my Undying deck, maybe. Maybe I can put this in my Undying deck, and that's about it. Because here's the problem with this card. Generally speaking, you wanna you wanna use this on a on a fat unit so they can't remove it easily. You can't use this on a one one, right? You can't use this on a token because there's so many effects like make it rain, um, vile feast that'll kill the token before this goes off. So you want this on a unit that's fat enough that's not gonna get removed. And but then you never wanna sacrifice a fat unit because fat units are good. So undying, I can see this in undying. Yeah, undying card, a better concerted strike. <laughs> not even close, dude. A much worse concerted strike. Use it on Landmark. Dude, Landmarks are not... None of the Landmarks I saw so far are OP. Like, if we see an OP Landmark, sure. But you got to realize Landmarks at the moment from the ones I've seen absolutely suck versus aggro. Yeah, out of the two Landmarks we saw, they both get absolutely destroyed by aggro. And aggro's, aggro's going to be like, please play your Landmark on turn 5 that does nothing. Thank you. You'll have value when Landmarks are meta. If Landmarks are meta. If. I love the idea of Landmarks, by the way. I, I love the idea of Landmarks. I'm very excited for them as a card concept. But, uh... Okay, pretty cool.